Hi, so today I'm going to show you how we make our calcium alginate uh, edible water capsules. So to do this experiment, we're first going to show you how to use lab equipment to create the capsules. To do this experiment, you're going to need sodium alginate, calcium lactate, a measuring spoon or some other type of spoon to drop the capsules in, food coloring, it's optional but it helps make it easier to look at, and then you're going to need two beakers, at least 250 milliliters big, and a magnetic stir plate with a stir rod. So the first thing I've already done is I have pre-weighed one gram of each of our solids. We have one gram of sodium alginate, one gram of calcium lactate, and I've already uh, measured out 250 milliliters of water in each of our beakers. So the first thing we have to do is we are going to start stirring the water that our sodium alginate will go in. On our stir plates, we can set it at around 600 RPM. Uh, if you're using a stir plate that doesn't show the numerical value, just try to shoot for medium or high speed. You wanna get a pretty good tornado going inside and be able to see it almost to the bottom of the beaker uh, in the center of the water. So once that's stirring really well, we're going to take our gram of sodium alginate and we're gonna very slowly tap it in. And once you add a little bit, you wanna wait, give it a couple seconds to mix in nicely and then you can add a tiny bit more. We're going to repeat this process until we get all of our sodium alginate into our mixture. All right, so now that we have all of our sodium alginate added into our mixture, we're going to turn up our stir plate, get it going a little bit faster because adding the sodium alginate uh, increases the viscosity of the mixture. We want to get it stirring pretty close to high speed and we're going to let it sit at high speed for about a minute to let it mix in better. All right, so now that we've been letting this mix for about a minute, we're going to turn it off and then let it sit while we make our calcium lactate bath. So with our other beaker that has 250 milliliters of water in it, we are going to pour in our one gram of calcium lactate. You can do it all at once. You don't have to do it a little bit at a time like our alginate mixture. And with this mixture, we do not need to put it on a stir plate or anything special. It dissolves pretty nicely with just stirring with a glass stir rod. So we're just gonna do that for 30 to 45 seconds or as long as it takes for most of the calcium lactate to dissolve in our solution. All right, so now that we have stirred in our calcium lactate, we have our two prepared solutions. We have our sodium alginate and our calcium lactate solutions. At this point, if you're doing any of the special modifications we have listed in the lesson plans, such as pre-freezing them in ice sphere molds or in ice cube trays, you can do that now with the sodium alginate and freeze it overnight and then continue the experiment tomorrow or if you're adding in things like food coloring, now is the time to do it. So to make it easier to see in the video, we're gonna add three drops of green food coloring to our sodium alginate mixture. And this we are just going to stir in with our glass stir rod. So as you can see now, we have our green sodium alginate mixture and our clear calcium lactate mixture. And we are going to take a measuring spoon. We're using a one teaspoon measuring spoon in this video. You can use a different size if you would like or a regular spoon. It just helps to have a little bit deeper of a well that the measuring spoons provide. You're gonna take your measuring spoon and dip it into your sodium alginate bath and you're going to scoop up one full scoop of the sodium alginate mixture. And then you come over to your calcium lactate bath. And it helps with beakers if you pick them up and hold them to keep everything steady. And you wanna set your sodium alginate directly in. You might have to tilt your calcium lactate bath a little bit as long as you don't spill it, but okay. 
And then after three or four seconds of holding it horizontally like this, you wanna slowly turn your spoon over and then pull it straight up. And you should be left with a green sodium alginate blob in your calcium lactate bath. And so you can repeat this as many times as you have space in your bath, they'll all float and you don't want them touching. So in any beaker, you maybe want to put only three or four at a time. Uh, we'll put one more in just to show you again. So you want to scoop up your mixture of sodium alginate and then come over to your calcium lactate bath, put it in horizontally, hold it underwater for three to four seconds and then slowly invert it and take it out. So now that we have our sodium alginate in our calcium lactate bath, we are gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes and then we'll come check on it. Just a note, if you do use a bigger teaspoon or a bigger tablespoon or a different size spoon than the teaspoon we are using, you might have to react the capsules for more or less time depending on what size spoon you are using. But we will let these sit for 15 minutes and then we will come back and check on them. All right, so we've been letting our calcium alginate capsules react for about 15 minutes now. Uh, when you're done reacting them, you can use a spoon or your hands and just very carefully scoop them out of the calcium lactate bath. And then at this point, you can do your qualitative observations, you can do your mechanical tests, whatever you have planned next to do with them, uh, this would be the time to do it. Uh, just a quick note, uh, if you are reacting these and your first couple kind of fall apart and pop open when you pull them out, that probably means that your gel is too thin and you haven't reacted them long enough. So just try leaving the next batch in for another five or 10 minutes and then you should be Alright guys, so I just showed you how to make our calcium alginate capsules with our lab equipment set up, but another way you can do this experiment is to run it with all kitchen equipment. And so to do the experiment with our kitchen equipment, we're going to need a measuring cup. Again, we're going to need our sodium alginate and our calcium lactate. We'll need some measuring spoons, normal mixing spoons, three bowls for each group, and then a blender set up to share between the class and optionally some food coloring. So I've already measured out one cup of water into one of our bowls and a cup of water into our blender cup. And I've measured out a quarter teaspoon of sodium alginate and a quarter teaspoon of calcium lactate. So once you've got that all set up, our first step is to take our quarter teaspoon of sodium alginate. We're going to dump it into our blender. And then we want to pulse it with our blender for about 20 seconds or until it looks really mixed all the way through. Um, you can kind of use your better judgment, but about 20 seconds of pulsing is a good amount to do. All right, so now that we have our sodium alginate blended, we can open it up and then we're just going to set it into one of our other bowls until we're ready to do the reaction. You may notice right now that our solution is pretty cloudy. Over a minute or two, it'll start to clear up and once it's totally clear, that'll show that it's ready to be reacted with. So in our other bowl that has one cup of water in it, we're going to add our quarter teaspoon of calcium lactate. And then this bowl, again, we do not need to blend with our blender. We can just use a normal spoon to mix it. And you just wanna mix for 30 to 45 seconds or until most of your calcium lactate has dissolved. All right, so, now that we have both of our solutions ready, we're ready to react them. If you are doing one of the special modifications uh, to this procedure, like using ice cube trays or the ice sphere molds, now would be the time to uh, pour them in with the sodium alginate mixture and freeze them overnight before proceeding. But if you're not doing that, then we're all ready to react. To make it a little easier to see, we're going to add 
three or four drops of green food coloring to our sodium alginate mixture. And we're just gonna mix that in with a spoon quickly. So now that we have our food coloring in, our two mixtures are ready to be reacted with. We're going to be using a teaspoon for transferring our alginate. You can use a tablespoon or really any size spoon you want. Uh, I've seen that the teaspoon works the best, uh, so that's what I'm going to use. And what you want to do is just scoop up completely level of a scoop with our sodium alginate solution. And then very carefully bring it over to our calcium lactate. And for this part, it helps to pick up the bowl to keep your hands uh, a little easier for the tilting part. And you want to put your sodium alginate straight down into the calcium lactate. So it's just underneath the surface. And we're gonna hold it there for about five seconds. So once we're done holding it, we're gonna slowly turn over our spoon and then we're gonna pull it straight upward, leaving our green sodium alginate blob in the water and the calcium lactate bath. And uh, you can repeat this as many times as you want. Just keep in mind that all of the blobs are going to float in the top of the water and you don't really wanna crowd them too much. So if you're using bowls, I would say at most put five or six in at a time but just again to show the procedure, we'll do one more of the capsules. So you want to take your spoon, put it straight down in, get a full scoop of your sodium alginate mixture. You can level off the bottom and get off your excess if you would like. Then you're going to come over to your calcium lactate, pick up your bowl. You want to set it straight down in and sometimes if your bowl is pretty deep and it's not that full, you're going to have to tilt the bowl so that it can go straight in. So you want to put it straight in so it's horizontally in the bowl. Leave it for five seconds. And then slowly turn it over upside down and pull it straight up out of the solution. So now that we have our capsules sitting in the calcium uh, lactate bath, we're going to leave them for about 15 minutes and then come check on them. Just a note, uh, if you are using a bigger measuring spoon like a tablespoon or something along that size you will have to react them for longer than 15 minutes uh, the 15 minute time works best for the teaspoon but you can kind of play around and see what works best for the size spoon you are using so we'll check back in with these in 15 minutes all right so we've been letting our calcium lactate and sodium alginate react for about 15 minutes now our capsules have formed thick enough coatings that we can take them out of our bath safely so you can just use a spoon or your hands and just fish the capsules out of the solution and into your hand. Or if you're not ready to do observations and testing with them right away, you can fill a third bowl with a cup of water and just leave them in this third bowl uh, to hang out until you're ready to use them. But when you're ready to use them, you can just Hold them in your hands. You are not ready to do your qualitative observations, your mechanical testing, whatever you want to do with them. Um, they are really fun to pop open and see all of the liquid come out of them when they do pop. They do squeeze a little bit um, and get water everywhere, so make sure you're ready to clean up. But they are ready to go at this point. If you notice your first couple coming out are a little too thin and start falling apart, just leave your next batch in for another five or ten minutes and you should be good to go. Um, but yeah, aside from that, everything's ready at this point to do your testing or whatever you have planned next to do with your capsules.